How many of us grew up watching Disney movies, singing along to the unforgettable songs and dreaming of exploring the magical lands depicted on screen? Disney has been there for us, providing an escape from reality and igniting our imagination with its enchanting stories. For decades, Disney has been hailed as a media giant, enchanting audiences across the globe with its captivating tales and endearing characters, not to mention its magical theme parks. From the iconic Mickey Mouse to beloved princesses like Cinderella and Elsa, Disney has woven itself into the fabric of popular culture, capturing the hearts of young and old alike. While the magic of Disney seems everlasting, the company has faced significant scrutiny over the years. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the controversies surrounding Disney, from the perpetuation of unrealistic beauty standards to the alleged harsh treatment of its employees. We have a lot to cover, so get ready to be shocked as we uncover the hidden side of Disney that might shatter your childhood imagination of their magical world. In the early 1920s, a young artist named Walt Disney and his brother Roy O. Disney founded a small animation studio in Los Angeles, California. Little did they know that their modest venture would evolve into the media behemoth we know today. The first breakthrough in Disney's history came in 1928, with the creation of a character that would forever change the course of animation, Mickey Mouse. The mischievous and endearing mouse quickly became an international sensation, capturing the hearts of millions. And in 1937, Disney released Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the world's first ever full-length animated feature film. The success of Snow White paved the way for a string of beloved classics, including Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and The Lion King, among many others. Apart from creating movies, Walt Disney had a dream of creating a magical place where families could escape into their favorite stories. And that dream finally came to life with the opening of Disneyland in Anaheim, California in 1955. The inaugural Disneyland would eventually become a chain of parks that span across almost every country. This iconic theme park, with its enchanting rides, vibrant characters, and immersive experiences, revolutionized the entertainment industry. With the success of their movies and theme parks, Disney wisely utilized their profits to invest in other ventures. One significant move came in 2006 when Disney acquired Pixar Animation Studios, the visionary animation company behind beloved hits like Toy Story and Finding Nemo. This partnership brought together two powerhouses in the animation industry, combining Disney's magical world with Pixar's exceptional storytelling and cutting-edge animation techniques. Furthermore, Disney continued its expansion by acquiring Marvel Entertainment, Lucasfilm, and 21st Century Fox. These monumental acquisitions further solidified Disney's position as a global powerhouse and extended its reach into the hearts of fans worldwide. With Marvel's vast universe of superheroes, the iconic Star Wars franchise, and the extensive catalog of 21st Century Fox properties, Disney's portfolio became even more diverse and captivating. Beyond its successes in animation and film, Disney's brand extended into various industries. In 1983, the company ventured into television with the launch of the Disney Channel, which eventually evolved into the beloved streaming service we know today as Disney+. Plus. However, behind the curtain of Disney's bright magical world lies a vast dark land filled with controversies and hidden agendas. But before we move on, I want to remind you not to fall into the dark side and join us by subscribing and hitting that like button. Keep your sword high, warrior, because we are about to enter the unknown. While the magical world of Disney has brought joy to millions, it has not been without its fair share of criticisms and concerns. One of them revolves around accusations of racial and cultural insensitivity in some of Disney's classic films. Movies like Dumbo, Peter Pan, and Aladdin have faced scrutiny for their depictions of certain characters and cultures. Critics argue that these films perpetuated racial stereotypes and promoted harmful narratives. Disney has been called out for its portrayal of African-American crows in Dumbo, Native American characters in Peter Pan, and the Orientalist depiction of characters in Aladdin. Another area of concern has been gender stereotypes in early Disney princess movies. Critics argue that films like Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty presented female characters as passive, waiting for a prince to rescue them and defining their worth solely by their beauty. This perpetuation of traditional gender roles 
has been met with criticism for reinforcing outdated notions of femininity and limiting the aspirations of young girls. Disney has also faced allegations of copyright disputes and plagiarism issues. One notable controversy arose with The Lion King and the alleged similarities to the Japanese anime series Kimba the White Lion. Fans of the anime pointed out parallels in characters, storylines, and even specific scenes, sparking a debate about the originality of Disney's work. Their theme parks are not immune to controversy either. In recent years, employee-related issues have come to the forefront. Disney has allegedly provided low wages and inadequate benefits to its theme park workers. Employees have voiced concerns about the challenges of making a living wage and the strain of long working hours. Furthermore, in 2020, the Disney Must Pay hashtag gained traction as writers demanded fair compensation and royalties for their work that had been adapted into Disney properties. One prominent writer who spoke out was Alan Dean Foster, the author of Star Wars novels that had been adapted into movies by Lucasfilm. Foster accused Disney of failing to pay him the royalties owed after Disney's acquisition of the company. However, Disney has also taken steps to address these concerns. For example, in an effort to address concerns about racial and cultural insensitivity in some of its older movies, Disney has taken steps to provide context and promote dialogue. On its streaming platform Disney+, Plus, disclaimers have been added to certain films, acknowledging outdated cultural depictions and encouraging viewers to engage in critical discussions. In response to concerns about gender stereotypes, Disney has made notable changes in its newer movies to present more diverse and empowered female characters. Films like Moana and Frozen have introduced strong and independent princesses who challenge traditional gender roles. And to be fair, Disney's old movies were created for their own time. Over the years, our values have evolved, and Disney's content has also evolved to reflect those changes. Disney has also taken steps to improve working conditions and pay for its employees. Following public scrutiny and backlash, the company has made efforts to raise the minimum wage for its theme park workers. In 2019, Disney reached an agreement with labor unions to gradually increase the minimum hourly wage to $15 which has been seen as a positive step towards providing a more livable wage for its employees. Furthermore, Disney has expanded its employee education programs, creating opportunities for professional growth and development within the company. Despite the controversies it has faced, Disney's influence and global reach continue to expand. The company's ability to adapt, evolve, and respond to the changing demands of its audience has been crucial in maintaining its ongoing success. Moreover, inclusivity has become a prominent focus of their strategy. In recent years, Disney has made notable efforts to feature more diverse characters in their movies, showcasing African-American representation in their new title Little Mermaid film and highlighting Asian backgrounds in movies like Raya and The Last Dragon. Disney's position as a media giant holds immense influence, particularly over children. Its impact on young minds is undeniable. While Disney continues to captivate audiences worldwide, it is crucial for us to hold the company accountable. So, what are your thoughts on Disney? Do you have any thoughts that you'd like to share about their movies? Feel free to leave your comments in the section below. And make sure to check our other videos. If you like today's video, I'm sure you'll also enjoy the others as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.